My name is Tom Weber and I've written about Adolf Hitler, his time in the First World War and the regiment with which he served. For a long time we had all believed that the, that the pre-war years of Hitler in Vienna had radicalized him. We now now know that this is almost certainly untrue. What is now commonly believed is, is that the First World War was the great turning point in Hitler's life and that his regiment was his uh, university. But the more I thought about it, the less likely this really seemed. As I went through the standard Hitler biographies, I realized that our account of his wartime years is based almost exclusively on Mein Kampf and the semi-mythical accounts of his comrades. If we, took that, if we take that away, all we are left with is really a blurry image. The image of a man without a face. The only solution I realized around this problem was to look at his regiment as a whole and to use the extremely rich documentation that has survived of the regiment and that, strangely enough, had never been used. As I open file that had been untouched for 90 years and as new files appeared from Bavarian attics, from um, archives in Israel, in America, in France, um, the, the life of the men of the regiment came back to life. My book tells the story of the men of the regiment. It takes you from the muddy uh, trenches of northern France, to the extreme volatile situation of post-war Munich, to the power rooms and concentration camps of the Third Reich. We'll see in the book why the men of the regiment uh, fought in the first place and why they continue to fight, and whether their war experience really had a, politicize, uh, a politicization and radicalization um, as a result, and what percentage of them really joined the Nazi party. What you will see is that the way Hitler organized the Nazi party as well as his personal office in the Third Reich was closely um, modeled on the way regimental headquarters had been organized as is evidence in the case of Fritz Wiedemann who had been the regimental adjutant um, and who later became uh, Hitler's personal adjutant in the 1930s, but the very same man secretly met with British intelligence in 1941 in a hotel in San Francisco discussing ways of removing Adolf Hitler. So in short, the book tells a story of what difference the First World War really uh, made in making Hitler. It also tells why the story of his war experience that Hitler told became so central for the rise of National Socialism and for providing fuel that kept the Third Reich alive. We will see in my book why, the, why Hitler and National Socialism so closely protected and guarded the story of his war experience and the claim that he was typical of the regiment and that all men of all veterans of the regiment supported Hitler, when in reality there had been an enormous divide between the frontline soldiers who fought in the trenches and people like Adolf Hitler who served as regimental headquarters 10 kilometers behind the front. And it is this huge divide and gulf that, re that, that explains to a large extent um, the character of the Third Reich and the rise of National Socialism.